ankles feel great. Like even in the start, like I got out really good and uh, my ankles feel fine. Um, I mean, like I still got to do a little bit more strengthening, but I'm finally pain free after a long, like five months. But um, yeah, so my ankle is fine. So that makes it even more frustrating that there's a different issue, but I'm, I'm confident I'm gonna be fine going forward. And what was this whole experience like? I mean, it's a blessing. I mean, that's something, like I said, I've been dreaming about all my life. And it didn't go the way I planned, but, um, I mean, I know God doesn't make mistakes. So I'm going to just remain positive and just focus on moving forward. I know both the Eagles and Giants sent the defensive backs coaches down here. Um, how disappointed is it not to be able to showcase yourself to them? And did they talk to you all about maybe what might be next? I mean, so, I mean, just given the competitor I am, that's something, I mean, regardless if I'm working out by myself, you know, like, I can't, if I'm not ready to go, it's, it's incredibly frustrating for me. And, um, but, I mean, I, I learned I got to stay positive and just focus on the interviews, I have an interview with the Giants after the pro day, and just focus on taking care of those, just those, uh, those next steps. Prior to this, what was the feedback you're getting from scouts, from the NFL folks, from the combine, just on the things they liked, what they saw from you, and what, what kind of things are they telling you? Yeah, I mean, so the feedback has been really good. Um, I've been told they, they really like my versatility, my ability to cover a lot of ground on the back end, uh, my physicality, um, my football intelligence. So, I mean, I've been hearing a lot of great things and just more motivation to keep going. You mentioned.